Let's go. It is April the 20th, 2018. I decided to make this uh, like a two part video, right? To make two separate videos. Um, I just made a video talking about Mel Kuyper Jr. and how yeah, I think that's just a bunch of nonsense. But because these guys do all these nonsensical videos and mock drafts and all this commentary where they're talking about, you know, oh, so and so is going to get picked and this is who the Bucks are going to pick and blah, 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 blah. I figured, you know what? Let me right talk about it because i think i've got just about as much of a chance of getting the pick right for the bucks as anybody else although i'm not really here to tell you who i think the bucks should pick i'm just gonna take a couple of things that i've noticed over the past five ten years and apply them into my theory as far as who the bucks may pick this year so the one thing that i do know is that whenever i hear a name associated with a team it generally never happens other than Winston, I can't remember the last player that they came out and said, yeah, this guy is going to end up on the Bucks," and he ended up on the Bucks Last year, nobody said O.J. Howard was coming to the Bucks. Nobody predicted he would fall to 19 and end up there. I kept hearing Dalvin Cook. He was probably the most prominent name last year that I heard as far as the Bucks picking up. Mike Evans, when we picked him up, not one I didn't hear anybody I heard more mock drafts with Johnny Menzel associated to the Buccaneers than Mike Evans his teammate at Texas A&M nobody said that Mike Evans was going to come to Tampa I could be wrong there may have been like one or two mock drafts out there that that had him listed coming to Tampa but if there was I don't remember in fact in fact uh I think Mike Williams coming out of Clemson I I'm pretty sure it's Mike Williams Man, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure there was more association there with him coming to Tampa than Mike than Mike Evans. Um, why Mike Williams don't sound right. Anyways, forget it. So when I look at the Bucks this year, and I keep hearing Derwin James brought up, well, I don't necessarily think Derwin James is coming to Tampa, but really just based on the fact that. People keep talking about him coming to Tampa. Jason Light's press conference, I watched that yesterday. He's talking about Saquon Barkley coming in for a visit. Look, I'm not going to say Saquon Barkley has no chance at ending up in Tampa, but it's pretty slim to none. If he ends up in Tampa, I'll be shocked. I do not see him falling to seven. I don't see it happening. Now, crazier things have happened in the draft, but I just don't see him ending up and Tampa. That's that's pretty big. He's a freak. I mean, that dude is a freak. So let's go back and focus on Derwin James and why I think that's not going to happen. One, as a Seminole fan, I watched Jalen Ramsey. And I remember Jalen Ramsey. I'm thinking to myself, yeah, this dude is a freak. He is legit. And whoever picks him up is going to be pleasantly, I would say surprised, maybe not surprised. They're going to be very pleased with what he brings to the table. Not not just on the field, but in the locker room, his mentality, his work ethic, just everything about Jalen Ramsey is legit. Now, that's not a knock on Derwin James, and I'm not saying that he's not legit, but Derwin James is not Jalen Ramsey. And I'm not saying that anybody out there is necessarily comparing Derwin James to Jalen Ramsey, but I'm just thinking that he might be getting a little extra love because Jalen Ramsey has been just absolutely just a beast since he came into the NFL and obviously the Jaguars defense as a whole is playing some good ball last year they were really really solid but he played a big part in that and I think that this is a you know is a trendy NFL right copycat league and and so people look at that and they say well Jalen Ramsey's done so great he's a secondary you know coming out of Florida State kind of hybrid guy that can play multiple spots back there in the secondary oh well look at Derwin James he can even play linebacker or cornerback or safety or whatever although we know he is a true safety but he can move all over the place so we're going to kind of put him into that same mold and say that he's worth a number seven pick I don't know that he's worth a number seven pick. And I like Derwin James a lot. I said I'm a Seminole fan. I like him a lot. But I just don't know that I'm putting him in that that seven spot, right, where where he's like at Jalen Ramsey status. Because Jalen Ramsey, I can't remember where they picked him up at. Somewhere in that neighborhood. I can't remember where the Jaguars grabbed him at. I apologize for not knowing off the top of my head. But 
I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't know. Now, the Bucks have a need at secondary. They've also got a need at running back. And then you could debate on the offensive line, on the moves that they've made. But the offensive line, running back, secondary are the same concerns that I had last year, same concerns that I'm going to have this year. As a Bucks fan, it is what it is. And after looking at our schedule, I got a lot of concerns. Because I am not going into this season with rainbow, you know, rose-colored glasses on saying, woohoo, the Bucks are going to be great. If anything, I'm more pessimistic this season going into the year. And that's just kind of how I feel. I'm just, I'm, I'm probably a little more pessimistic going into this year. Um, because this is going to be a pretty, I think this is going to be a pretty tough schedule for the Bucks. And, uh, you know, we'll just, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm looking at the offensive line. I'm looking at running back position, and I'm looking at the secondary. So I can see why Derwin James, why his name's coming up. But the safety out of Alabama, you know, I, I could see him coming in. Um, you know, but I could also see them, you know, trading back, especially if Saquon's gone and they really want one of these other running backs. I could see them dropping back. So, you know, we'll see. Anyways, um, that's about all I got on this one. Um, I'm going to post this one and the Mel Kuyper video together. And after this, I may not post any more really sports-related videos for a little while. Until next Thursday, of course, when the draft is coming up. And then I will definitely talk some more Bucks, um, if not other teams as well. But uh, I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'll always trust the process. And I will talk to you all later. I am out.